Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the calls of the indigo bunting versus the painted bunting. Um, they can kind of sound very similar sometimes, but we're going to compare the two. Um, why is it important to know the calls of the birds that you're looking for? Because sometimes you hear the bird before you see it, and it's a good way to track a bird down um, whenever you're hearing it, and you can hear it and listen for what direction that it's in, and usually you can track it down um, just by the sound alone when you might not even see this bird. <clears throat> this happened to me this morning when I was on my walk, and suddenly I heard an indigo bunting, and I turned around, and sure enough, there he was on the power line so here we go okay up first we have the indigo bunting This is the one I recognize the most. When I hear that, I know there's one close by. Okay, that was the indigo bunting. Next, we're gonna do the painted bunting. Painted bunting, here we go. Yeah, so that's those last calls, those flight calls, those are the ones I feel like I recognize the most. Um, so yeah, these are the calls that you want to look for um, when you're looking for painted or indigo buntings. Right now, we have a lot in uh, South Florida for the past week since the cold front. So um, if you're waiting for them to come your way, just uh, keep waiting a little bit longer and they should be around soon. They're still hanging out in the Keys, um, in the Upper Keys. People are still seeing them in Miami. So um, hopefully they'll be soon in the Lower Keys and the Caribbean. <laughs> 